Hey class, so for our second exercise of today, I'm calling this the cake exercise. And what this is going to do is get you to move around and rotate your interface in Maya. And I just want you to go through and do some counting, do some selecting, do some moving um, for this cake model. Now I found this cake on Sketchfab it's really cute. Um, it's by Rexale. I've also made some um, changes to it, including hiding some special pieces inside the cake that you're going to need to uncover. Once you have downloaded this file by clicking on these buttons, um, open it and it should open straight in Maya. Okay. So when we're opening our file, what the first few things you're gonna see is that this model has lots of nice colors in it. Um, they did a really good job of just using standard materials and adding some color. And um, also that this is a bit pretty low poly, which means low polygon um, model, but it has enough detail and personality that makes it really fun. Now, if you remember to rotate around our model, you're going to hold down Alt and use your left mouse button. That will let you tumble around your model. Um, Alt and the middle mouse button is going to let you move it up and down left and right. Alt and the right mouse button is gonna let you zoom in and really get some kind of close-ups and even let you go through this model out the other side where you can't see anything. If you find that you're lost in space, press F and that will focus and bring all of the model into view. The other way that you can, alt that you can rotate around is by going to um, view camera tools on your viewport editor and clicking this double line on the top of your menu. And that will allow you to just start your tumble, click on track and you will be able to track back and forth and dolly. So if you don't have a mouse just yet, um, that's the way to do it and you can zoom. Okay, so what I want you to do is first of all to rotate around check out all the different sides of this model, and then I have three questions for you. The first is how many candy canes are on this model? So I want you to pan around, even grab, so use the arrow to select, or you can press the letter Q for the arrow. Grab our different candy canes, and you can even move them if you want to count them easier. So move is this icon right here or the letter W. It'll get easier if you use the letter W. You're gonna have, wanna grab all of the candy canes on this. There's many of them. And I added a few from the original model. So I want you to tell me how many candy canes are on this. The second thing I want you to tell me is how many of these little cookies are on the model. There are these little brown and white cookies. And then the third thing is I want you to scroll inside of this model. And I have some letters and a number in here. Press F to focus back. So there's a couple ways you can actually see what's inside this cake. First of all, you can scroll inside and see if you can make out what the letters and numbers are. Um, the second way is to hide parts of this model. So I would say if you click outside your model and hold down and drag over your model, you'll select all of these outside pieces. And then if you go to display, hide, and hide selection, that will hide everything on the outside and show you the letters on the inside. When you want to bring everything back, you're gonna click show, display, show, 
and show all and that'll bring everything back so you can access it that way um, let's see another way you can go to your outliner and you can also hide pieces this way so let's say I don't want those pieces let's just do maybe some random pieces here so if I went to display hide and hide selection that would let me hide those display show show all let me show everything again so those are your three things that you need to find out and then the last piece for your actual what you're going to turn in I want you to do some selections so the first selection I want you to do is to select by faces so now remember to access our marking menu we're going to right click and hold over the model so now if you right click and hold out in empty space you're just going to get complete tool and select all and it's going to be confusing but if you click and hold and right click over the model you're going to get your marking menu and from your marking menu i want you to select by faces so you're holding and then you click and you drag and you release the right mouse button over face the other way if you don't have a mouse to select by face is to go to your um, modeling toolkit for some reason mine is not over to the right here so i'm just gonna go to my maya classic workspace hopefully that resets it there we go so now i have my modeling toolkit also of note the modeling toolkit is this um, cube with like a little hammer on top of it and for some reason it had my viewport at like a random i think top view or something so instead i just went over to this perspective button on the left for my perspective view again so under your modeling toolkit you can select by object or by vertex by edge or by face or by uv but right now we just want face so this is the other way of selecting and so now i can select everything by faces and what i want you to do is select every other face on this blue line so to do that you're gonna click left mouse click shift click other faces every other face when you want to rotate around you're going to press and hold alt and rotate or you're going to go up to view camera tools and break off that tumble track tool here we go and then we're going to go back to our selection tool which is either q or this little arrow here and we're going to shift and click and select every other face shift and click select all our faces if you need to use the tumble tool select it there and then go back to your selection tool and shift and click shift and click okay so now we have every other face um, selected on the top row for this next row we're going to do something really fancy which is use our um, it's kind of like an auto select where i'm press shift click on this one face and then if i double click the next face over it selects the entire edge loop of faces so shift and then shift double click and it's a little hard to tell but these are all selected and then for the final row i want you to shift and click all of the alternate faces so let's shift and click every other one but not the same row as this one shift and click shift and click use that tumble tool if you need to remember to turn back to your selection tool and then shift and click 
So why am I getting you to do this? Just because it's good for you to tumble around. And I find that beginning students don't want to tumble around as much as um, they need to. So this is my exercise to force you to do that. And shift and click. So now that you've got all of these um, selected, all you're gonna do is go back to the front and then take a screenshot for me. Man shift four, and then click and drag. And you can submit that as well.